Recently, a Vancouver BMX team came through our skate park to inspire the local kids. It's a park that has been heavily used for 18 years by kids who come here to find family and themselves. I felt better confidence in myself along with giving me a group of friends that I can really be myself around with and be happy. I got to watch my child grow up at the skate park. Got him out active, I see him flourish. All my friends, my job that I have, everything in my life right now I owe to my local skate park. Ryan, a former BMX rider, has been around skate parks all his life. His business, Risk BMX, is a product of this culture. His crew has spent the last 15 years traveling through skate parks in BC, trying to help other kids find their passion. It's a great place for young kids to learn uh, the social skills. The whole park itself is kind of like a family. So, you know, we got at risk youth coming here. You know, sometimes they don't have that sense of belonging. They get that, they get that here. They find family, they find that sense of belonging. Yes, the park is a great place for kids of all ages to come find ways to express themselves. But the park itself needs your help. The little kids are often discouraged about even trying it. Over the past 18 years, the number of users of the park has dramatically increased, and that has sped up the wear and tear of the park. It has also gotten a whole lot smaller for this large group of users. It's harder for the kids to come out to just come and skate because um, there's so many people that come now, and it's just too small, and kids are afraid that they'll get hurt. I'm pretty sure you've seen some of the videos on like the internet and stuff, where like, there's really big skate parks. Well, this one's like really not that big, so. A lot of the ramps, a lot of the features you see here in the park are not really concurrent with the styles that guys are riding to a lot of the day. With the increased attention of the city rebranding itself, the spotlight is now on the west side of the community. Crystal and a handful of skate park users are now advocating for a revitalization of both the skate park and Baker Creek Park. Well, number one, I think it'll enhance the whole west side. Um, the west side's kind of had a stigma over the years that it's the rough part of town. If we did any skateboard expansions or anything to do with the park, I think it would bring a lot more tourism here. Uh, you could use it for Billy Barker days, it would be more kid friendly. The idea of revitalization has caught the attention of the city as well. City Council is inviting users of this park to form a delegation and present their ideas at a future council meeting. We can build a park that people can uh, have recreation activities at that they can feel proud of, I think it will give people a better sense that the west side isn't taken for granted by city and is a place that people can feel comfortable and proud to be living in. For more information about how you can help, contact Crystal Brecky, 250-925-4166. It'll revitalize the area and just, it'll uh, kind of light a spark with a lot of the kids that, do, that don't even know that this exists in a new place. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Damien Brecky.